Hi and welcome to Chandu.org. It is yet another windy, wet and cold day in Wellington. So I'm going to keep this really quick and simple. Let's just say you have a bunch of text values. It could be a copy paste from a large PDF or text file or something like that. And you would like to make a, a kind of pivot from the text value. This is actually inspired from an email that I got from one of our readers. So uh, apparently they have data like this. They have, um, let me just zoom it up here uh, so you can see everything. Uh, so have they have, uh, this looks like a requirement document or some sort of uh, business analysis thing. So you have uh, some function number and some text blah, 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 see also, and then some requirement numbers uh, along with references to other functions. And so essentially uh, from from this data they were trying to extract a table like this that that maps out each function and requirement so 356 maps out to uh, requirement 200 456 212 function number 222 and then requirement 123 uh, that's that bit then 357 function that maps out to 123 and 124 that goes there then there is some other text that we can simply ignore because it doesn't contain either fun number or rec number. And then you have fun 358 which maps out to rec 127, 128 and 127 uh, which is a repetition so you can just ignore that. So that's the two rows there. So how would you pivot such a text value? Obviously you cannot make a pivot table from text values. If you try uh, you wouldn't be able to generate something like this. This is technically not even a pivot but uh, uh, you know something close to what we are trying to do so how do we do this well you could use the mighty powerful power query to do this of course you can also write some formulas but uh, that would be excruciatingly painful so I would suggest that you go with the uh, power query as an option so select your data and if it is not as a table turn it into a table uh, and then we go to data and uh, select any cell from this go to data tab and then load this data uh, through get and transform from table that means we want to run a query on that table okay uh, if you don't have power query and you're using 2016 you should see that there um, but uh, in earlier versions you can either download it as an add-in or you can apply the same technique from power bi desktop as well so we go to power query which opens up the query editor here uh, and we can build a query to to kind of give us what we need okay now if you have done any kind of programming uh, especially web programming or uh, in newer languages chances are you're looking at this and grinning and thinking oh why can't we use a regular expression right you know it's just an expression on uh, to match the words that have that begin with either fun or rec uh, and then have a number it could be three digit two digit seven digit number it doesn't matter but uh, we we really want that unfortunately as of writing this uh, recording this video power query doesn't natively support regular expressions you can run a an r script in power bi uh, but in power query we are not able to do that uh, through excel either uh, so there is no simple way to do it you could use uh, some other techniques that i was reading online like uh, uh, running uh, regular expression as part of a JavaScript that goes into a web page and then basically doing that but that sounds really long way uh, just to give you an idea if I were to copy paste this data into a regular expression tester like this regex101.com so I pasted the data here and all I want really is the bits that have fun or rec in them and I could write a, a an expression like the words that I'm looking for are fun followed by a digit mm, more than one digit you know it could be one two three four five doesn't matter so it matches all these things uh, or requirement this one and there you go you, you you would be able to match all the things that you want everything comes up here as information and we can just simply extract those matches through the programming language that supports regular expressions even VB script that is part of Excel uh, has regular expression support but not yet power query I'm not suggesting that we go to the VBA route let's do it in power query so the simple thing is uh, obviously we want to start by extracting the left bits and the right bits the left bit is anything that uh, starts with fun so I'll right click on this uh, split column by delimiter 
and uh, let's just keep it simple looking at the format of data the left portion is always having a colon if there is a colon the bit before that would be my mapping value uh, and only extract the leftmost right we don't need to extract everything and that gives you that the way at every step power query would add these change types and uh, I just don't like the idea of having data type casting added at every step so this is done and anything that has a null in the second column is definitely not a candidate because it doesn't have what we are looking there or it doesn't have columns so we can just remove nulls and that leaves us with this now what I want to do is I want to split this by by the requirements or functions but before that let's replace all the punctuations you could do this in a more scientific manner uh, but looking at this data uh, I can just uh, be a bit lazy I can just do uh, replace values and I can replace my um, let's just take a look at what we have here we have opening brackets so I'm going to say replace opening bracket uh, with a space I'm going to repeat these steps a few more times uh, for all other things that that are occurring in this data and then the last one would be comma um, so I'm going to replace commas with, uh, with with space okay so this is that but if you could potentially have other fun punctuation as well like full stops and hyphens and semicolons and whatnot so it might be a good idea to have a punctuation table like all the punctuation symbols and then uh, just replace all the punctuations in the text uh, as a as a one step that would be somewhat advanced at this stage so I'm not going into that steps but either that or you could just replace them one at a time as, as several steps it doesn't really hurt the performance in any way um, and then once all of that is done uh, we, we will simply split this by space okay now we want to split by each occurrence and go to advanced options and then just select rows instead of splitting them into separate columns just split them into rows so that's the key bits there and then when you click OK you get all these things all right uh, now all I want is we want to filter anything that starts with requirement or function that's that's all really we want to do so we go to text filter begins with and then write the words rec or begins with fun and it will just give you that bits um, then what we could do is we we want to remove any duplicate combinations like function 358 has requirement 127 already so there's no need for that so I'll select both the columns right click and then say duplicates that will remove the duplicate combinations in the table uh, we end up with this we will just rename this as fun that column would be rec or mapping and this is this is pretty much it you 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 have what you need and uh, it is quite robust so if your data changes you refresh your query and it just works I have already built this query so I'm just gonna discard this uh, and show you output here which is pretty much coming from that uh, that kind of a power query okay the only disadvantage of this approach is that it uh, it requires a bit of manual steps well not really manual but uh, query steps that that, that that assume several things but uh, more often I find that this kind of a process is just a one-time thing you you just need to take this and turn it into that once that is done then you you can move on with your job you're not going to probably do this uh, every day or every hour so it may not be worth the while to go and come up with the 100% foolproof solution all the time as long as it works and as long as you can test that it works for the given shape and given type of data you should be happy don't there's really no reason why you should spend a lot more time refining the formula if it works whereas if you are building a solution where uh, things can things are more fluid and they can change for example uh, what if there is a space between requirement and the number you know how are we going to handle that or what if there would be um, some some weird ways like you know fun and rec won't be in capitals they could be in small letters as well remember in power query everything is case sensitive so uh, your filtering logic needs to be also put that into consideration uh, you know in in such cases then you would need to be a bit more smart about this but given this data and this question to me this seems like a fairly simple and straightforward solution so go ahead and give it a try if you have not tried power query before uh, it is really good for 
data cleanup and data handling scenarios like this. So go ahead and try that and pivot your text values with happiness. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.